you know, alcohol can't solve all of your problems. Only most of them. But unfortunately for me, I'm ordering out of alcohol. <clears throat> you see, I got a little bit depressed, so I thought, why not go live out my lifelong dream of sailing out on the open seas and going on an adventure? And I'm telling you, I had it all planned out. Alright! An adventure! Yeah! Well, it turns out it's not nearly that fun. And I would. And now I'm out of here on the ocean in Lost Wild Map. So, that went well. <clears throat> you know, what I really miss is video games. I mean, I could actually, I could tell you a lot of video games that I could play, or you could play, if you were depressed. And, and since I don't have anything better to do while I'm out here, I might as well give you my list of the top 10 weirdest Zelda The top 10 games to play when you're depressed. Well, let's get on with the thing. I just helped save a child's eyesight. What did you do with your life? What could possibly be a better way to start a list than with violence? Lots of violence. That's right, one thing that cheers me up when I'm depressed is beating people up. But since I'm too pathetic to actually do it myself, I'm forced to do it via video games. And my favorite game to beat people up is Final Fight 2. Playing this game just makes you feel awesome. You're either a guy who's so buff he just punches his way through doors, a guy who carries a sword and simply chooses not to use it, or you're a sexy girl. And you can't go wrong with any of those options. Besides, I love kicking butt. <laughs> Pokemon is a happy game. You've got Pikachu, you've got Squirtle, and you've got... What is that?! But really, catching Pokemon? Pff, that's just too much work. But catching Pokemon by playing pinball is truly inspirational. Pokemon pinball is just fun. It's relaxing. It's lighthearted. Perfect for someone as pathetic as you. Or me! And on top of that, it's got some really catchy music. Some may argue that Dead Space is a terrible game for this list because it has depressing themes, excruciating violence, and horrifically terrifying creatures. I, however, say that it's the perfect game to play when you're depressed because who has time to be depressed when you have this in your face? Isaac Clarke has a lot of problems, both mental, emotional, and occasionally physical. In fact, he has so many problems that you'll be hard-pressed to remember any of your own. You'll be too busy getting the piss scared out of you. Jesus, that thing was angry. Sometimes when you're depressed, it can help if you watch someone else go through some tough times. So you can laugh at them. But it especially helps when you're the one ordering them around, forcing them into terrible situations such as you do in Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. Just look at how happy he is. Nothing could dampen this guy's spirits. Except maybe this. Now, don't you feel better already? And we owe it all to Pac-Man. Thanks, Pac-Man. Maybe if you're depressed, what you really need is a happy game. Maybe you need Loco Roco. I have no idea what this game is actually about, and I don't care. All I know is that there's a happy blob that turns into a bunch of other happy blobs, and sometimes they sing. And sometimes they don't. Who cares? When you live the life of a Loco Roco thingy, you can do whatever you want. That's true freedom for you right there. America! I'd put this higher on the list, but I'm slightly concerned that someone with a shaky state of mind might actually go insane by playing it. Harvest Moon. I've 
lot of good memories, fond memories, of Harvest Moon. Played it at a young age. Always had good, always had very good memories and treasures. Just a lot of memories. Memories and treasures of Harvest Moon. There's just, there's just some things you just can't explain. Harvest Moon is just one of those games for me. Y I mean, you can farm, and and y you can do animal. You can have animals. I mean, what other games can you have animals and farm? I it's just something that oh, it just blows my mind. Really, I I just love Harvest Moon. I I love Harvest Moon. It makes me happy. It makes me so happy that I pee my pants just, just to play it, and that doesn't even make sense. So if you, if you just leave me alone for five seconds, I got Bejeweled. It's actually proven to lower depression symptoms, at least according to the internet and some scientists, neither of which are very reliable sources. But what's even better than Bejeweled? Bejeweled with StarCraft. And Murder, also known as Star Jewel, a bonus game that you can play on StarCraft 2. Sure, lining a bunch of three thingies in a row is satisfying, but not nearly as satisfying as lining a bunch of three thingies in a row and then watching your Ultralisk Colossus combo rip people apart. Maybe if you're depressed, you just need some friends. Some Animal Crossing friends. Sure, they're not real friends, but they're almost just as good. You can talk to them, give them stuff, and have them complain that you haven't played the game in a long time, and you can even write them offensive letters and have them respond saying they didn't understand. And if that's not what real friendship is about, then I don't know what real friendship is about. And I don't. I don't have a friend. And that's why I'm making this video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some weeds to pick. Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet. It's almost like I just got this game for free in the PlayStation Network and had to have an excuse to talk about it. You can make faces in Little Big Planet. You can jump. You can make yourself happy. And you can jump. I like to jump. I also like making my character to be as depressed as I am and force him to go through entire levels with his pathetic little face. It eases my pain but not very much. What does ease my pain, though, is all the happy music and pretty colors. Let's face it, sometimes when you're depressed, all you want to do is release your vengeance on something. There's a lot of games that allow you to do this, but how many of them let you take out your vengeance not just on animals, people, and buildings, but on entire planets and even galaxies? That is something only Katamari Damacy can deliver. But not only do you get to destroy everything in sight, you get to do it while listening to incredibly cheerful music. Yep, I love this music. It really compliments the screaming. Well, that was fun. A couple of few minutes. And I'm still stuck out here. This music is starting to get annoying. Wait a second. What's that? Hey, it's an island. And it's deserted. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd also appreciate it if you click that little like button and that little favorite button, it really helps me out. Also, let me know what you think. What games would you play if you were depressed? I have a feeling some people aren't quite as twisted as me, so I'm curious. And as always, you can find my Facebook and Twitter pages in the links below, and subscribe for more content, all that blah 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 blah, all that, you know, stuff that you gotta say every time. Peace, appreciate it, thanks for watching watching, even though I already said that. Later.